Who is to blame for the current situation? I would say the last administration is to blame. Uh, we've come to a point where we are bankrupt, which has never happened to Sri Lanka before. We have no dollars, we have no rupees. The president uh, is still in power. His brother, the prime minister, may have stepped down, but their family has essentially run the country for two decades. Should the president resign? Well, that's a controversy. People at Golface of the view that president should resign. On the other hand, the by association of the view that the executive presidency should be abolished. They do not mention any anything about the president resigning. There are massive protests across the country. The young who see their future being taken away and the old who see the suffering, the middle class who just see their lifestyle collapsing, farmers without fertilizer. The demonstration that you have shown now is by a militant youth group who generally carries out at least five to six demonstrations a year. Certainly their uh, aim is to ensure the water cannons are used on them. But that does not mean that there are no protests in Sri Lanka. They are run by people at the moment when they can't bear the burden any longer. So we, we certainly are not in a very stable position. Is that we have not had fertilizer for cultivation and this coming uh, season, the rice cultivation season will not have the full production. Therefore, from about August onwards, there's a possibility of a food crisis in Sri Lanka. And we have to see how we survive till about March uh, next year. Well, we were in default anyway, and we didn't have the money to pay. We have to acknowledge that. I feel ashamed about it. But nevertheless, this is uh, reality. We've been engaging with the IMF, but as you know, it takes time. At the moment, would you say it's safe for tourists to come and visit Sri Lanka? Uh, well, those who want to have an exciting time could come here and maybe they could uh, even take part in the demonstrations. <laughs> they could hold placards which says for the president of Sri Lanka to go home or you could hold a placard asking the prime minister of your country to go home. All that is option that's available.